the stupid dogs. Great. Good evening. I got a few people on there. I'll give it a minute here to get a couple more people on. Hey, Cosmos, the Bradens, Mike, Two Feathers, Bubba, Andy, Richard, Derek, Luke, Cheeseburger, William, Thomas, Tom, Cody. I'm going to have to stop there because it's getting crazy. Um, yeah, there's 100 and, about 150 people in here right now. Um, so quite a bit going on around here the last few days. Um, it's been crazy. Um, Bo left today. He's on his way home to North Carolina. So he's had that scheduled to come here and be work on his bus for several months. Uh, so, you know, I had no idea what was going to be going on or anything like that. So we got that scheduled and, uh, we crossed off most of the things on his list. He's having a blast driving his bus home right now. Um, he's got more horsepower than he's ever had before in that bus now. So he's really digging that. Uh, be combination of both the propane injection that we added to it. So he's having fun with that. Uh, plus he left here straight piped. So we put a, uh, five inch straight, uh, flexible exhaust pipe out of there today. Um, it's loud. It was awesome. And he was going to shoot some video going through. So he's got two tunnels to go through on his way home. Uh, so that should be fun. Uh, it turned out he's having some kind of a problem with his Jake brakes that he hadn't had before. And we think that maybe some, that's, that's an electrical issue. Um, we had all those electrical problems in there and we were taking stuff out of that panel. So maybe something got loose up there. Um, wasn't aware of it until he was on the way on the road, on the way home. So yeah, it's my Harry Potter scar got last night. Um, that was not very fun. That thing bled so bad. I had just blood everywhere on my face. I, was, I, I got the leaf spring on my bus. So my leaf spring is on. Bo helped me do that. Um, it was a challenge, but, uh, I was tightening one of the very last, it was actually the last bolt on the, the to hold the leaf spring in. Um, and I had a half inch drive ratchet with a six inch extension and a deep well seven eighth socket, um, tightening the, the last shackle bolt on the top. It's hard to get to. And it was tight and I'm like, I'm going to go just a little bit more. I give it that one more pull and it slipped off and bashed me in the forehead. And, um, I, so much blood like within 10 seconds it was just it was insane um I, of course i didn't know how bad it was at that point but it was just it was it, you don't want to see a video of it um i don't think youtube would like the video of it <laughs> i sent it to kelly and I've, i sent her a thing saying i'm mostly okay uh she didn't like that i don't think <laughs> um but luckily bo was a paramedic so he took care of me he put some uh butterflies on it last night and it uh it was bleeding a few different times but it it's swollen now too, so it's worse. But yeah, we got the wedding pictures and stuff coming up. That's going to suck. Um, I was all excited because Harry's.com is going to be a sponsor for a video coming up. And I was going to be shaving for my daughter's wedding. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. That'll be a cool, cool thing to do. And now I'm going to have a big, stupid thing in my head. Um, yeah, so his bus, we got a lot done on it. That was, that was nice. Um, he got, the, the propane injection was the big thing that, that, you know, we got new airbags on it and we fixed some air leaks and, uh, went through the electrical system and fixed his tachometer and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, it was, it was a nice, nice visit from him. It was fun. Uh, and then he, you know, I, I helped him out, uh, the last couple days, uh, today and yesterday, I didn't charge him for any of the labor on his bus. And then he helped me on, on my bus, uh, yesterday and just for a few minutes this morning on it too. So, and, uh, I know I definitely worked him harder on my bus cause the leaf spring is very, very heavy. And when I sat the old, the new leaf spring down on the pallet, um, I set it, you know, 15 feet away from the bus and I should have not done that. I should have put it a lot closer because just moving that leaf spring 15 feet and it rained all day yesterday, that hurricane remnants came through and, um, I, I, I was soaked clean through. I mean, like if I, if I would have jumped in a pool, I couldn't, I would have been probably drier than I was just from, from the rain. And we had tents up and everything, but you know, getting down on the ground, laying in a puddle and then just the combination of all day long, it was crazy. Um, I'm here by myself, so I'm not really going to be able to take a whole lot of questions tonight. Uh, I don't have Kelly here to read them to me. She's moderating. Tyler's moderating, but they are back home in Indiana. Kelly will be coming back here tomorrow. Um, 
I don't know what else I was going to say. Okay, I'm going to try to read some of these questions. You got to remember, you put them in capital, capitals, but don't don't post a whole bunch of them. Um, Tyler's working on the truck. I don't know when that's going to get done. Um, I didn't see any real. Bo Noble is his last name. He's from North Carolina. Uh, he posts on here a lot. He won't be posting tonight because he's driving right now. And I'll be excited to get the video from him. He's gonna, he was going to shoot video driving through the tunnels and send it to me. I said, make sure the windows roll down. Uh, when he left here today, I was on the phone with Kelly, and I heard him at least three miles away. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's hills around here, but, and he was really on it. But I, it was so loud. It was it was awesome. He, he was definitely digging that. Um, oh, hey, Super Chat. Speed bump 95. Thank you. Yeah, I was trying, because of the, the Harry's thing, I was trying to, you know, I was going to get my, my clean-shaven face, you know, they were going to sponsor the video for that, so that'll be fun for the wedding coming up. Uh, I think the plan is we're leaving Sunday, so a week from today, I think, is when we're leaving for Fort Myers Beach, Florida. So I'm trying to get Lenny done, that's why I got the leaf spring done, I didn't want to have him on the road with that old, saggy leaf spring that wasn't working good. And I do now have clearance, I don't have it on the wheels, but uh, all the body weight is on the leaf spring, and I've got, um, I don't know, probably six... I actually didn't measure the distance between the bumps where the bump stop would be in the and the axle there um but it's at least six inches it's 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 a considerable amount uh, but all the weight is on the the axle the only thing that's jacked up right now is the differential it has a jack under it because i'm going to try to put spring brakes uh on the other rear wheel uh tomorrow on my bus so i got to make a, a plate to move the way that my brake canister comes in the drive shaft comes in at a 45 degree angle and the brake chamber sits right next to the drive shaft I don't know if you can, it's like really close and if i put a spring brake that's a larger you know it's got two chambers on it it'll hit the drive shaft and you can't do it so i have to make a bracket which i've done this on another silver sides uh the one the rescue out of um arizona that we did the kind of pea green colored one um we raise that up make a bracket that raises the brake can up so it pushes down more like that so just by moving it up you know like six inches then it'll clear the drive shaft the drive shaft will be behind it there so uh right now i only have one spring brake the other axle has a spring brake on it um so we're gonna do that i don't know how far clarksville is i saw somebody just post that There's a lot of people that work on buses. There's not a lot of people that travel, but obviously this year I haven't been traveling, but we will get back on the road. But we're gonna travel half as much in the future as what we had been traveling, um, which is gonna make it even harder uh, to visit people. We uh, Last year I had a two year waiting list of people that want me to come work on their buses. And then because I didn't work on anybody this year, that's put me another year behind. And I probably had another two years of people contact me that want me to come out. Um, obviously they're not all gonna wait for me to come there. So, you know, but I, I have that many people uh, there's just no way. It's impossible. I had somebody sent a message to me say they want me to come to California and work on their bus. I can't come to California right now. I got so much to do and um, it's just not worth it for me to go that far right now when I, I have other work and I, and I have to get back to Mark's bus in North Carolina and finish the rebuild on his bus. That's like my number one priority this year. We're getting ready to sell the house. This, the whole wedding thing has been planned for years. Um, well, more than a year and everything just got messed up with the COVID thing for it. And she had the change it. We had the big wedding planned. Uh, and since nobody's really going to do that now with crowds, she's doing a small wedding in, uh, Florida on the beach that we're going to do. Um, oh, Hey, super chat, Chad Woodward. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, We don't bother the neighbors. I mean, what do we get? Like one bus a week coming in and out? That's no big deal. Um, that, that's, you know, they, they, other than that, we're pretty much so homebodies here on the property. We don't come and go. So honestly, everybody else around here is coming and going to work every day, uh, three times a day. And, and we almost never leave the property. So we're not bothering the neighbors. And there's a church pit across the street from us that has trucks that come in multiple times a day. They're louder and um, 
you know, no big deal. Man, me trying to read questions is very hard. Um, I'll just try to catch a few as they go by. Um, I'm not going to continue to scroll back through it because that'll just cause too many uh, pauses. So, so tonight you may want to ask a question more more than one time, um, just because I'm not going to scroll back through it. But don't go crazy with it. Uh, ever have a steady helper? Not really. Just Kelly. Kelly's my st steady. <laughs> um, The thing's doing good. My distributor came in today for it, which I got to notice it had been delivered. So I went looking for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I'm like, it didn't get delivered. And then I went and looked again for it and I found it and they, they put it underneath the bus down on the pad under the rear tire. I'm like it's a really weird place to leave a package, but that's where FedEx left it. So I found it luckily, um, but I don't know when I'm going to get to it because I got a lot of things going on this week that I got to get done. Um, uh, somebody's asking about a pre-flight pre -flight checklist. So just, I mean, there's always a pre-trip inspection list. That's something you can you can get a, a DOT form or something. There's all kinds of stuff out there. Um, No, I just replaced the one spring on there, the one that was bad. The other side is really, really good. And I wanted to wait and find out. It wasn't any cheaper to buy two. Um, I wanted to wait and find out and see what my ride height is over here. Because if this side isn't even as high as the other side, then I need to make another adjustment on it. So the other one is, is perfect. I don't know what the deal was, why the one side was bad. But it was, you know, when one side is four inches lower than the other one, that's a big, big difference. And none of the springs were broke. No, nothing was broken there. That was a 1982 MCI that we just worked on. And it was a 8V71 that was in it, naturally aspirated. Um, it's got bigger injectors in it. He didn't know what they were, but he knew, when he had it in the shop, they told him that it's got big injectors in it. Um, Gene Russell told him that. Yeah, we're just going to straight to Fort Myers Beach. We're not stopping. We're not doing any sightseeing. I, uh, we're not going to anybody else's places or anything. We're going to still socially distance. There's only going to be... I think there's gonna be six of us, maybe eight of us at the wedding um, if his grandparents come too. So it'll just be uh, his parents, her parents, that's it. And possibly one set of grandparents. Um, I think I'm getting to your questions here. Yeah, our UPS guys and our mail people know where to bring all of our stuff. The FedEx people, I think there's a lot of different drivers. I don't think it's always the same person. Um, so. Uh, but I'm excited to get the spring brakes on here. That'll be a nice option. Um, when we had the airline blowout last year and I only had one brake can that applied because of the spring, uh, you know, it's not nearly enough stopping power. So I wanted to have a second emergency brake on there and I saw them both. So I'm going to go to a local weld shop here and get that bracket made tomorrow. Um, hopefully they're open tomorrow. It's a holiday. Isn't tomorrow a holiday? I think it is. Um, and I got some cool stuff coming tomorrow. We got a lot of stuff to do. I had a friend, uh, his mother passed away a couple days ago. Um, so keep them in your, thoughts and prayers that, that really sucks for them obviously um very very sad for them uh, yeah i should probably get a, like a plastic tote or some, something down there but I, we're always here yesterday i had my auto parts delivery from o'reilly's they've been really well they're mostly good about bringing all our stuff out and bringing it right away but yesterday we were waiting on that exhaust pipe they said it would be in by three and then they would deliver it right away. And then we waited, waited, waited. And by six o'clock I called them like, hey, it hasn't come yet. And they're like, oh yeah, well your driver was out there and nobody was there, so they didn't leave it. I'm like, yeah, but I was here all day. Um, 
the only car I have right now here on the property is the thing and it's been the container and it was raining the tops down on it. I didn't want to put it up. So we were here and we were outside the whole time. So they just didn't drive far enough on the property. And they usually, she, he said it was my regular driver and this is the spot up here on top of the hill where they usually bring it to. So I don't know what was up with that, that they didn't look for us or just took it. So that's why uh, we had to put his exhaust on today. Uh, I see another super chat there from Cody. Just curious. I want to get your get a school bus and make it a motor home. Well, it costs a lot to do it myself. It's not cheap. Um, honestly, the best thing to do is to buy one that somebody else has already converted because you're gonna they're gonna lose. You're gonna end up putting you know fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand, maybe even more than that, into it. And if you ever go to sell it, you're gonna get like five to seven thousand. So you might as well, if you can buy it from somebody else that's getting rid of one. But if you enjoy the build and you want to do it your way and all that, it's just it, you're never gonna be able to sell it for what you have into it, no matter what bus, be it a schoolie or even a Greyhound bus. So I don't think any new buses come with auto uh, manual transmissions or somebody's. Uh, TJ is asking, are the bus manufacturers gearing towards all automatic transmissions? I think they have been since like 1980. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think any of them come with a manual transmission anymore because they don't, people, they don't want to train drivers. They want to be able to have their staff drive them and um, they don't want people grinding gears all the time. And yeah, I'm not aware of any bus nowadays that comes with a manual transmission. Uh, there's a lot of companies that'll still do insurance on a on a bus conversion. That's not really hard. Somebody's asking that. Um, Tyler's got the, the transmission in the Dodge. He just doesn't. He had to, he had some broken bolts on the cross member that holds it in that he had to replace. So I haven't heard an update from him how he's doing with that. If he's got any more accomplished on it or not. Obviously, since we're going to be leaving for Florida right now and then getting ready to sell the house, you know, if he has it done in a couple weeks, that's fine. Hopefully, hopefully by then he will have it done. Um, but it's it's the harvest season and they do a lot of work for farmers and stuff like that. So, you know, farmers more important than getting the truck done for me. I don't have a bus for sale, no. Uh, disc brake conversion would be ridiculous. It can be done, but man, that would be... That would be a lot of work. Yeah, if somebody just sold a converted school bus for 50K, I bet you they had a lot more than 50K into it. It's really hard to get your money back out of it. I suppose if you're an expert cabinet maker and that's what you do and you find the right buyer, that's a very rare thing. Tyler's a moderator, that's why his name's in blue. So is Kelly. The engine is in down there and it's not, I don't have it hooked up enough to run yet. I had, cause I had Bo scheduled to get here. Um, that the day that when he got here, we worked on it until he got here. Um, another couple hours worth of work, but I'm not gonna do it by myself. Uh, I'm not gonna be starting it here all by myself or anything. I'll wait for Kelly to get here. So maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll have it going. I've never had any trouble with the shift linkage column uh, on the column shifter. Uh, I, every once in a while you have to come back and adjust some things or replace some parts. I did have a problem where it wouldn't want to go into uh, all the way into first if it was into second and I could make an adjustment and then it would go into first but it wouldn't go into second and it turned out being the clevis pin on the shifter was just worn and so it had too much slop so I could push it but it wouldn't pull it as far as it needed to. So just replacing the pins will fix that problem. Yeah, all that old stuff is, you don't have to worry about the regulations here for private use. Uh, even in California, you can have a motorhome that still has a um, two-stroke in it that doesn't meet carb compliance and all that, but you can't operate it commercially anymore. That's illegal. Um, they're cracking down on it, but it is it, it, the exemption for private motorhomes and antique vehicles is still in existence. Uh, who knows how long that will continue there. Uh, at some point, I suspect they won't be allowed. 
Um, but that's just, I guess. Uh, overheating problems with buses is one of the number one problems that that's probably the number one reason I get to work on buses. <laughs> Either brake problems or overheating problems. This is really hard for me to read questions here and do this all by myself. I, I definitely miss Kelly doing that too. It's so much more easier. So much more easier. So much easier. <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't want a gas bus. D diesel is much more economical fuel-wise. Um, you would spend a lot of money. You, you can buy a gas bus, like a schoolie, a gas one, a lot cheaper than a diesel one. But in the, in the long run, if you're driving it, if you're just parking it as a tiny home, that's fine. But if you're driving it over the road a lot, um, the, the savings that you get on that initial purchase price are nothing compared to what you're going to spend in gas versus diesel. Who does state inspections on buses in North Carolina? I have no idea. All right, somebody being bad, huh, Tyler? I didn't see what it was, but I trust you. Um, no, I whacked myself in the face with the, the, the ratchet, the socket slipped off of the, the bolt while I was just doing the final tighten on it and it hit me right in the face. It happened fast too. I'm, I'm lucky it didn't hit me in the eye or something. I didn't. I didn't even see. I didn't see it come. I mean, it just. It, it was an instant. I was really pulling. You know, I put a lot of torque on that thing. Uh, I don't know where the best place to look for uh, Detroit. I would try Facebook or something like that, or put some keywords in on eBay. Uh, search all Craigslist, that kind of stuff. That's where I would start. I mean, if you want to eat one, there's companies that rebuild them that have them in stock if you, if you absolutely need them right away and you want to pay through the nose for it. But if you're looking for a good deal, I would try the other way. Uh, why don't we use a non-water cooling uh, system in there? So something that just uses a different liquid instead of water. Um, well, for one, you know, they hold 22 to 30 gallons, a lot of them, you know, not quarts, gallons. Uh, so that's a pretty dang big expense. And, uh, you know, as long as you, if you drive it right and it's in good, and the cooling system's in good shape, then you really don't ha necessarily have a, a cooling problem. Um, the, the problem comes in that people don't drive them right. Um, uh, they don't maintain the cooling system very well. Um, just all these things start to add up. The radiators plugged, the fan shrouds missing, there's rubber seals missing, or, um, it's low on coolant, they're, you know, they're pushing it beyond its limits, they're, they're riding it hard, uh, all that stuff adds up and, you know, that, that's not, the, the coolant that's in there isn't really what the problem is. No, the driveway's perfect. The The rain did absolutely nothing. Nothing washed out. Not a single rock was moved. Everything went, it never, it, it rained consistently all day. It was heavier at times, but it was never that just deluge of massive water. There was active water flowing through the culverts every time I checked, um, but it was only, you know, a couple inch wide stream just kind of going. Uh, probably the biggest problem that I saw was a lot of leaves now that it's the fall and the leaves are coming down. There was a lot of leaves in the, the trenches to the culverts, uh, but I didn't, there's no leaves in the culverts. So it, they didn't, you know, flush in and, and end up laying in the culvert. So um, that might be something I have to worry about in the future is how much leaves get, get pushed into there and stuff like that. So 
Oh, I didn't even realize the dog stopped barking. That's nice. Yeah. Man, I couldn't find my sledgehammer yesterday. I, I really needed it. And I, I was like, what did I do with it? And I looked everywhere and then I forgot I had it in the back bedroom of that bus down there when I was tr trying to knock that wall out down there. And I, I, it's, it's in the, it's, it was in the back of that bus down there. I'm like, how do I lose a sledgehammer? I know my dad always made fun of me because I lost his anvil one time. He's like, how do you lose an anvil? And, you know, that, it's like a wily e. Coyote kind of thing. But I, I think I left it in, the, I had, I took it to a friend's house to use and I left it in the trunk of a car that I sold and I forgot it was in the trunk. That's how I lost it. So he loves the propane injection. He, he called me saying he couldn't believe how, how much power he had. He was going up the hills, th hills that he used to have to drop down to third gear. So he's got two things going for him, extra power, because he's got straight piped now. So he's got a little horsepower bonus because that there's, there's no back pressure on there. Uh, and then he's got the propane injection as well. So he's got two, two things that are boosting his horsepower and he's absolutely loving it. And he said, you know, the noise of it, the loudness of it is bringing back his, you know, inner teenager. He's, he's definitely enjoying that for now. Uh, but he's going to get the muffler back on it. He does have a bus rally he's going to go to uh, in a couple weeks. And I'm like, well, you can put the muffler back on by then. And he, I think he's going to leave it straight piped for that because he wants to play with it and take it on another trip. Um, JD, another super chat there. Have a lovely evening from my family in New Zealand. Uh, man, I can't wait to go there and visit someday. I definitely want, that's that's on our on our list of places to go to. Jay, don't ask questions like that. That's dumb. Uh, how long does the propane tank last? Um, if you just use it on the hills and stuff like that, he'll probably get 1,500 miles on it. Uh, use it on hills, climbs, overpasses, stuff like that. Uh, when you want to pass somebody in the interstate. Um, you know, I've gone all the way from... Um, Indiana all the way down to Florida and and hadn't even used the full tank of propane. There's a lot of hills and overpasses that I would use it on um, so we don't Oh, hey, I didn't realize that was a super chat though, Tyler <laughs> It's kind of rude to <laughs> I, I don't think uh, my answer to Tyler's question is I don't think he's ever but uh, that's up to him <laughs> That's not, not uh, take that up on his his channel <laughs> um yeah, I definitely want to visit Stu, Dangamarine. That would be fun. That you know, if we go to New Zealand, we're going to Australia too. I mean, those those two countries are going uh, together. I'm not going to go to one and be so close to the other, and not visit it. So it'll probably be something we end up taking, you know, several weeks to to do that. I don't want to just do you know one week and then you know a half a week. So it'll be several weeks, two maybe three weeks, something like that. Uh, nitrous versus propane. Well, number one, nitrous is a lot more money and not as easy to get. A propane tank you can get filled just about anywhere. So obviously it's not as much power, but we're not trying to damage the engine. We're just trying to give it a little bit of a boost. And that, that's a, a great way to do it. Yeah, that one guy that we... If, you, if, if you've been a subscriber for a while, so a little over a year ago, we were at his place down in Florida, uh, a neighbor of Frank's there that has that car collection. They have those old, was it a Studebaker? I don't remember what he had, but so when they travel with their car club, like, you know, those are concourse cars and stuff that they have. I can't remember what it was. One of you guys might remember what it was, but they, they shipped, they went to New Zealand and drove around for a month and they shipped the car ahead of time. So it was there so they could drive it around the whole time that they were there. Uh, it wasn't a little car. It was a big, a big, big touring car, like from the thirties or something like that. Maybe it was a Packard or something. I, I can't remember what it was. Um, but that was really neat that, that, that whole, all those people in those car clubs would do that with their super expensive cars, ship them ahead of time and then be able to travel the country like that. That's really neat. Um, I could not imagine how much money it would cost to do that with, with my bus. Um, uh, but it would be a heck of an adventure if we, so someday if I'm a bazillionaire, uh, then maybe we would think about doing that. <laughs> Uh, I haven't even seen a tick here in like a month, so I don't I don't know. Either I'm just blind to them now. The stink bugs are the biggest problem right now. Those suckers are everywhere. I, I was ready to throw up yesterday under the bus because they were just everywhere, and I kept squishing them 
um, we're trying to get the leaf spring done. And every time I would roll over or move or do something, I was squishing a stink bug. And um, yeah, it was, that was rough. I would not, I can tell you right now, I would not want to rent an RV, um, just like a sticks and staple RV. I would be so disappointed in that. Is it hard to retrofit a 12 a 71 in a semi that has a Cummins 855 in it now? You probably, I mean, I don't know how long. That's a big, big engine. I've never done anything like that, so I couldn't tell you, but... All right. Well, I don't want to stand here too long tonight. I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about Bo's project. If anybody has any quick questions about that still... Um, I'll try and answer that real quick, uh, or the leaf spring or the brake that I'm getting ready to do on here. So the leaf spring's on, looks great. I, I haven't set it on the wheels yet, but the, all the pressure of the body is on the spring. And there's, as where the spring that I just took off was actually resting on the axle. That's how far the body came down. Um, and the old one, I only had a little bit of clearance. So I definitely have a lot more clearance in between there, but it'll be nice to get it flat level on the ground and, and see where my measurements are uh, and, and go from there. Uh, why not a gear drive alternator on Bo's bus? Bo's bus has a gear driven alternator. The 24 volt system on his bus is gear driven. Um, and then that other one is a t for the 12 volt system that was the belt driven that was up top of the squirrel cage fan there. Uh, that's for the generator uh, and the 12 volt stuff in the bus. So he has two alternators on there. One's a big 50 DN gear driven. He has that, but that's 24 volt. It's, it's not sitting on the wheels on this side because I have the jack under there. So I can't tell you how it looks one side compared to the other right now. Um, and because it's lean, my differential is not in the middle of the bus. It's all the way over on the far side. So that's changing the geometry of everything being lifted on, you know, because the other wheels are still on the ground over there. Um, but from just lifting the differential up on this side, because it's off to one side, it has it, this wheels up. But all the weight is on there. Uh, yeah, an AB71 that requires ether to start, what issues could be causing this? Uh, more likely than not, it's low compression. Um, that's just a guess. That's the first thing I would do as a compression test, which could be a, va oops, could be a valve problem, uh, not necessarily worn rings or anything like that, um, but it you know, could be head issue, valve issue, it could be worn rings. Um, there's a lot of things that could cause that. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to finish up here again. I'm all by myself here, so I didn't want to do too much. Uh, I just wanted to discuss the projects that we just finished and what's coming up this week. So my bus is going to get spring brakes on the other side of the axle. Uh, hopefully get the bus running down on the pad this week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday would kind of be my guess. Um, and then we'll have an adventure coming up because my daughter and her fiance are coming here. And then we're all traveling, my wife and the two of them and, and the four of us uh, and the dog are going to be take uh, the dog that's going to come live with us to, on a trial basis. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so the one St. Bernard is coming too. And then we're all going to go to Florida in the bus as an adventure uh, for the wedding and lots of stuff going on with that. So the next week and a half to two weeks are going to be really crazy with everything going on because we're going coming back from the wedding in Florida and then we're going up to the house to get it ready to sell. They're moving out of the house and then, you know, we got to pack up all of our stuff and get everything out of there, get the garage cleaned out, uh, dumpsters. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that Ford Mustang down here. Um, and I'm going to have to get another container here for the property to be able to put that Mustang in for now. We have a 65 Ford Mustang down there or up there that's got to come down here it's it's not drivable it's going to be trailered um it's been in the garage for like 20 years uh so yeah a lot a lot of stuff going on it's going to be absolutely crazy so and then obviously still buses to work on and things to do and then uh oh i think uh dave and pam are coming this week to the property in, in a couple of days i think they're just maybe staying one one day maybe more 
So, okay. Well, thank you so much. And uh, we'll have lots, several more videos coming this week. So thank you.